Shalom, and welcome to this special edition of PowerPoints. My name is Rabbi Kurt Landry. I'm here at House of David in Fairland, Oklahoma. We're talking about love and really the power of it. Love, love has great power. Love is not manipulative. Love is not envious. Love is not prideful, arrogant. We learned all about that in the, in the weeks, but I want to shift now to John 13, 34, where it says, a new commandment I give you that you love one another. Just as I have loved you, you also are to love one another. By this, all people will know that you are my disciples. And if you have love for one another, they'll know. Well, my gosh, how, how do you have favor? I, I don't want to go into the particulars, but uh, a business was made, uh, made available to me about two years ago. And one of the reasons is, is because the, the, the people we were interacting with observed, and I'm not saying we're perfect by any means, but they observed this love principle operating in the respect principle with, with them for about 20 years. And so when they were thinking about, well, who should we uh, have work on this project? Th they called us. And they called us because of this scripture, because they could see that we were operating in love with them. And these are not believers, these, but they liked it. So it's like, it was their choice? They're business people. Do we operate with the people that operate in love and trust and tell us the truth? Or do we go over here to these guys that are not doing it? I mean, it's, it's a pretty simple process, even for the non-Christian, heathen business people. They much rather be attracted to Christians. I have said this for years, and, and I believe with all my heart, a really solid, well-educated, hardworking Christian are going to be your millionaires and billionaires in the future, because even Donald Trump would want one of these. Why not? Someone that you could trust, operates in love and respect. It's powerful, plus has the skills to actually deliver. So to me, with who we are, we're a great commodity. If we will follow the scripture, that Jesus's words aren't holding us back. They're launching us into prosperity. I believe it with all my heart. I'll see you tomorrow.